Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. What do we do for our clients? Many people think that when the markets are trading high, when there is a secular rally and valuations are elevated, there is not much to do for their clients. That's one way of looking at it. Often people think that thinking that way is a conservative approach. There is another set of people who think that at that time when valuations are elevated, they must still try harder to give their clients aggressive investment options. That's also a school which has become very, very large today. The number of teachers and students in that school far outweighs this conservative set, which thinks there's not much to do. And there are enough investment philosophies floating around, which are quite untested by time, that tell you that uh, you can be aggressive at any point in time in the market. And when it is not the good time, you can simply sell and get out. Nobody asks the question that what if everybody sells, can they really manage to sell? Or if everybody wants to exit, is it really possible to exit? That question is never asked. In the recent week, we saw everybody trying to exit. And you saw stocks falling day after day on lower circuit. On the way up, people went on buying at every higher level. But on the way down, three or four circuits on the trot, hardly few people managed to sell. So you thought you made 100%, but three or four circuits took away more than half of it and you're still not sold. How many people will be able to sell after that? How many people get the mind to sell is a moot question. And that's for them to answer. So these extreme approaches are untested and when they get tested, I'm not sure people are going to like the results of that test. To my mind, there is a middle ground. There's definitely a middle ground. That is where you take very precise investment actions for the client in any market context. For example, today you think equity valuations are very high. You can advise the client to invest his incremental monies into debt. It's a simple option. Even within his equity portfolio, some parts of the portfolio are very elevated in valuation. You can take some money from there on the merit of the individual idea being overvalued and put that money in a safer place. That is another option. And if the client has incremental money for equity, then you still can invest that money in very select ideas or very select parts of the market where you find the valuations are still reasonable. Or somewhere between reasonable and what is acceptable. Because sometimes valuation can be slightly elevated. There is no harm in buying there because if the valuations further contract, you can buy with more confidence. And if the valuations rise from there, you would have still participated. So there is this middle ground which you can definitely be in and work for your investors. I prefer that middle ground. Generally, it's always safe to be in that place. And the investor must be told clearly why we are doing what we are doing. The underlying investment philosophy behind decisions must be well understood by the investor. Investors generally show a very high tendency to go straight to the decision and try to understand the decision. But there is a philosophy behind the decision. Unless you understand that, you are not going to appreciate the nuance in the decision. So always keep the investor aware more and more about the philosophy behind decisions. There is no need for them to even understand the decision. But once they understand the philosophy behind your investment decisions, then they are going to be peaceful and they are going to continue doing their investing in a regular manner without worrying whether is this the right time? Am I doing the right thing? Should I pull back and do nothing? These questions will not come to the investor. I think this is a good time for investors also to walk away from these questions and try to see, is this investment philosophy right for me? Are my investments being done in line with an investment philosophy that suits me? Can I be sure that the broad discipline 
that is required for a decent portfolio in the long run is being maintained in my portfolio. And what can I do to retain my confidence if the markets fall? Because that is the most important thing. If you do all these things, then when the markets fall, you'll think, okay, I didn't do anything excess on the upside. And I've been very measured as the markets came down. So now I can become more aggressive. To have that space and confidence is the most important thing for the investor. And that is what I think the advisor can do for an investor. Hopefully you're getting that. If you're not, find that. Thank you for watching this video.